Hi, my name is Barry. I'm with InsulQuilt. Today we're going to talk about high quality radiant barrier for home, commercial, or industrial use. The three primary topics we're going to talk about today, number one is what is a high quality radiant barrier, number two, how it works and how to install, and number three, the benefits of using a high quality radiant barrier. Now the U.S. Department of Energy defines a radiant barrier specifically as a highly reflective material, usually aluminum foil, which is applied to one or both sides of a number of substrate materials such as craft paper, liner board, cardboard, or fiberglass scrim. This is a sample of high quality radiant barrier. And behind me, we have built a small mock-up set of an attic space so we can discuss how a radiant barrier is utilized, how it works, and how to install it. So let's talk more about what is a high quality radiant barrier. So a high quality radiant barrier is a product that has a radiant heat reflectivity test result of 97% or greater, which means when radiant heat hits this material, more than 97% is reflected off of it and not absorbed into the space. Also, a high quality radiant barrier has aluminum on both sides as we discussed. It also has a substrate of a heavy material in the middle between the aluminum sheets. And lastly, it has a class A flame and smoke rating, which is very important for safety when you use it in a home, commercial, or industrial space. Now, additionally, a high quality attribute of a good radiant barrier is one that has foil, and the foil is 99.4% pure aluminum that we use in our radiant barrier. Additionally, the recyclable content of our radiant barrier is more than 50% by weight. We manufacture it here in the United States, and all of the raw materials, with the exception of the aluminum, are purchased and sourced from a U.S. made company. Now we're going to get into a flame test and compare some of the other raw materials and radiant barriers available in the marketplace here in just a minute. But if you need information, you can reach us at info at insulquilt.com. That's I-N-F-O at insulquilt.com. We have in front of us here some product samples that we purchased. We purchased two of the samples from an online store, another from a major uh, retailer of warehouse goods. And we're gonna do a quick heat test with the three products here. Our product is on the right. So let's go ahead and get these flamed up and see what happens. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. As you can see, uh, some of the products did not pass the flame test as far as I'm concerned. Let me take this down. So what's important is you want to have a safe product in your home and attic space as far as a radiant barrier. Our product diffuses and reflects radiant heat, specifically direct heat. So it's a very safe product and that's what we wanted to show you in today's flame test. Okay, the second topic today we we're going to discuss about the radiant barrier is how it works in basic installation. But let's talk about how a radiant barrier works. Let's assume that the sunshine is coming up on the top here and it's heating up the roofing tiles, which then heat up the sheathing and the felt underneath the roofing tiles. The heat then is transferred, if you do not have a radiant barrier up, it's transferred into the attic space, it heats up all the wood in the attic space, it heats up the insulation, it heats up all the air conditioning conduit, and the heat then is forced down into your ceiling and then into your living space, which causes discomfort and other issues. So many times, the space in here can be 30 to 40 degrees warmer inside than it is outside during the daytime, during the daytime, and the temperatures in here are so excessive that it puts a lot of heat back into your living space. So when you do have a radiant barrier and it's installed properly, what happens is the heat comes through from the, the roof and the radiant heat then is trapped behind the radiant barrier between the radiant barrier and the roof underlayment and the heat travels from the base up this way as it heats, superheats and the air then is vented out of the top of the space here. But then what you have to do is you have to have a ridge vent up above you or a gable vent like we have here installed, or an attic fan that helps remove that superheated air once the radiant barrier captures it. Otherwise, you don't provide a cooling system within your attic space. So the radiant barrier traps the heat behind it and the heat moves up and then needs to be vented out of your attic space. So not only is the product used in homes, but again, it's used in commercial and industrial space. So how easy is a basic installation of the radiant barrier? Well, let's talk about the tools you'll need. You'll need Cutting device, scissors or knife, heavy duty stapler, measuring tape, and some aluminum tape. And it's three simple steps, measure, cut, and staple. And it's very easy to cut. It's so easy to cut, it's easy to cut. So 
Um, you can mold it and shape it however you need. The important thing about our product is the product options in terms of size are, are critical when you're trying to install this material. We have a material that's 48 and a half inches wide, as you can see the roll down here. We have material that is 25 inch flat to fit in either 24 inch on centers or on flat spaces. And then we actually have a flange material, 25 and a half inch flange that fits between 24 inch on center studs or two by fours. And it makes it much easier to install as many of the competing products only provide you 24 inches of material. And it's very difficult to staple a 24 inch piece of material when you have 24 inch on centers and you have to be sure that those studs are exactly 24, otherwise you won't be able to get the competition's product installed properly. Now, the most critical thing about installing the radiant barrier is you need to leave space both at the bottom here and the top. As we mentioned earlier, the, the air is heated and comes up through this channel and, and is, is vented, but in order for the heat to rise, you have to have an opening at the bottom so it can feed that and feed it out over the top. So that minimum one inch space is required. Now we have more than that, but it's just for our display and conversation today. So minimum one inch space in the bottom and one inch space in the top so the heat can be vented properly from behind the radiant barrier. Now do it yourself can happen with this product. You can hire an insulation contractor or a general contractor to install the radiant barrier for you. And as far as stapling, once it's cut and measured and cut, it's quite easy. You can staple the product right into your wood. Lastly, if you do end up cutting the material, as I mentioned, whether you're cutting it during installation or you damage it at some later point when you're attic space, you can simply get aluminum tape and tape over the mark and the product will perform just like it was when it was installed without the cut. Last thing I need to mention is you never want to install radiant barrier on your attic floor. You never want to install it on the floor like we have it sitting here because what can happen is it will condensate moisture from your living space down below it can cause problems within your insulation and between the ceiling below you and the radiant barrier. So never install radiant barrier on the floor in your attic space. So what are the benefits of a high quality radiant barrier? Number one, you will reduce your cooling expense by 10% or more each year. And we know that the electrical costs continue to increase each year. So installing a radiant barrier now will be in your best benefit. Secondly, a high quality radiant barrier will reduce the stress on your cooling system by cycling on and off, trying to keep your living space cool. It also will extend the life of your air conditioning system. And then lastly, a radiant barrier will increase the life of the roof and the roofing materials because as you're aware, every time the heat comes through and you don't have a radiant barrier in here, it could be 30 to 40 deg degrees hotter inside your attic. All the roofing materials are expanding in the daytime and contracting at night, which causes stress on the roofing materials and reduces the life of your roof. Now each year, our company Itzel Quilts produces millions and millions of square feet of radiant barrier each year, primarily used in the Phoenix, Las Vegas, California, and the Southwest region because it is such a highly effective product in keeping radiant heat out of your living space and stopping unwanted heat from causing you to be discomforted. So if you wanna reduce your cooling costs, spend less money, provide a more comfortable environment for your home and a safe product being used, please install a high quality radiant barrier. And you can buy this high quality product, American made material from InsulQuilt. And you can reach us at InsulQuilt.com or info at InsulQuilt.com.